The Hack RF1 is an open source hardware platform that functions as a USB peripheral or can be programmed for standalone operation. It supports the transmission and reception of radio signals ranging from 1 MHz to 6 GHz, rendering it an exception ally versatile tool for RF exploration and development. The Mayhem Signature Edition Portapack H4M enhances the capabilities of the Hacker F1 by integrating a touchscreen interface, controls, and additional features. This transformation enables it to serve as a portable, standalone device for signal analysis and transmission without requiring a computer. The Hack RF1 is a software-defined radio that operates over a wide frequency range from 1 MHz to 6 GHz. It functions as a half-duplex transceiver, meaning it can either transmit or receive at any one time, but not both simultaneously. The device supports sample rates from 2 MSPs to 20 MSPs and uses 8-bit quadrature sampling offering 8 bits each for the I and Q channels. The Hacker F1 R1 OC version connects to a computer via a high-speed USB interface, often with a USB Type-C connector, and is powered through the USB port. It features a 50-ohm SMA female antenna connector and provides software-controlled antenna port power up to 50 mA at 3.0 to 3.3V. Additionally, it includes an antenna port power option of 50 mA at 3.3V DC, as well as a dedicated SMA female port for clock input and output. These parameters make the Hakka Ref1 a versatile and popular choice for general purpose. SDR Experimentation and Development The H4M Portapack features a 3.2 inch 240 by 320 matte LCD touch screen. It offers various control options, including arrow keys, a flat design 360 degree rotary wheel, and select buttons. For audio, it is equipped with a built-in speaker, a 3.5mm headphone microphone jack, and a built-in microphone with a toggle switch. Data import and export are supported via a micro SD card slot. The device is powered by a 2500 mAh rechargeable battery with an advanced management, IC and status display and it is housed in a transparent abs injection molded shell. Power is managed with a single on-off switch and USB-C charging. Additionally, a GPIO port is available for custom add-ons, enhancing the device's connectivity. Just similar to the Flipper Zero, this GPIO connector can facilitate the implementation of various extension applications. Next, I will introduce to you the regular settings and operations of the equipment. This is our assembled HackerF Portapack H4M. If you buy this one, then you can turn up this switch to boot it and turn down to shut it down. For charging, you need to boot it first. Enter the battery level display interface. Then plug in the USB cable between your HackerF and your computer or other power supply. Regarding the firmware update, first insert the TF card and format it. The format must be FAT32. After formatting the TF card, open this web page. On this web page, you will be provided with a detailed explanation of the method for firmware update. Here we will introduce a method. Click to open the latest firmware library. Download the latest firmware file, zip. After the download is complete, extract the file. 
and copy the extracted file to the TF card. Then, eject the TF card from the device. After the burning process is completed, insert the TF card into the device and then power on the device. In the display interface, select Utilities and then the subsequent interface. Choose Flash Utilities. Find the firmware we need. Click to confirm and select Yes. At this point, you can see the light on the top of the device flashing continuously, indicating that the file is being burned after the burning process is completed. You can see that the version 2.2.0 is displayed in the lower left corner of the device interface. Next, I will demonstrate several applications to all of you. The first one is the audio application. The audio application enables you to view and listen to any wireless signals. The local FM radio stations operate within the frequency range of 88 to 108 MHz. Inputting 103.9 on the device will allow you to visually see the received signal on the screen. Regarding the Looking Glass program, in this application, a wide spectrum can be displayed and you can intuitively find strong signals. At the top of the interface are four parameters in sequence. Minimum frequency, maximum frequency, LNA low noise amplifier and VGA variable gain amplifier. Below the waterfall graph, the power spectral density within the set range is presented in real time by sliding the frequency boundary, adjusting the LNA gain, and adjusting the VGA attenuation, you can quickly lock onto and observe the strong and weak signals. Here we have various types of frequencies, which can be changed by using the scroll wheel. When the frequency changes, the minimum and maximum frequencies above, as well as the LNA and VGA values will also change accordingly. In the game's application, you can enjoy simple and enjoy able mini-games. At certain moments, they might help you relieve stress. If you are also interested in the HackerF Portal Pack H4M, then take action quickly.